Okay, um, day 55 of the Grateful Project. Um, today, I'm very, very grateful for my family in Scotland. Um, you know, I've met very few of them. I've met my aunt, Margaret, and my cousin, Davina. And beyond that, I have not met any of them face to face, although I've, I guess I met Margaret's husband, Pat. But, um, my mother's story with her family, um, it's not complicated, but it's painful. And um, as a result of things that were said and things that happened, and I don't even know what some of them are, I don't even know what most of them are probably, uh, my mother stopped speaking to her family. And as a result, from about 1970 or so until 1998, there was no contact between the two families. If you imagine a world before the internet, it was pretty hard for them to have found us, and my mother certainly didn't go looking for them. I remember when I first reached out after the birth of my first child to the families in Scotland, trying to find someone that I was related to on my mother's side. My mother was really mad at me for doing that. And, um, you know, uh, she eventually came around, but. I remember when she first reacted, I was like, what's the problem? I don't see what the issue is. She had a lot of anger. But I think, you know, with her sister coming to visit, I think she spoke to her brother fairly often in the years before she passed. Um, she got over it. She realized what I've come to realize, and that is how important it is to have family, even if they don't agree with you. I think a lot of the problems that people have with family members it, um, results from the fact that you're a lot like your family, whether you want to admit it or not. So, anyway, my uh, Scottish family has been very good to me over the years, even though I have been totally remiss in going to go visit them. Something that I continually say I'm going to fix, and I don't know when I will, but it'll be sometime soon, I hope. Um, I really hope that they know how important and how special they are to me. And uh, that's what I'm grateful for on day 55 of the Grateful Project.